Hello and welcome to another one of my tech videos where I'll give you a bit more help on quarrying. First of all, to make a quarry, you'll need 30 sticks, 28 cobblestone, 28 iron ingots, 16 gold ingots, 11 diamonds, and 1 redstone. That's all on the screen in my inventory there. What you want to do is head over to your crafting table, or a project table in my case, and first of all, take four of the sticks and surround them in the uh, corners like so. I've done it with all seven. You're going to want to make seven wooden gears, so you should just leave two sticks out and do it with all of them if it's quicker. You then want to surround those seven gears with seven cobblestone in each of the same four places to make stone gears. Do the same with the iron, and then you should end up with seven iron gears. Now, you're going to want to keep three of them aside because you need three in the recipe and then take these four and surround them with the gold in the same way so that's four in each lot and you should get four gold gears you're going to want to keep two of them and keep three of the diamonds aside three, there we go and use these eight to turn these two into diamond gears the same way. You now want to use your remaining diamond and two sticks to make a diamond pickaxe. Okay, cool. Now that you've done that, you've got all the things you need to make a quarry. You make it like so. Take the redstone and put it in the top middle. You then put the iron gears like so. And then a gold gear either side of the middle iron gear. Diamond gears below the gold gears. And finally, uh, put the pickaxe in the bottom middle. And then you have it a quarry. So that's the recipe. Right. The next thing you want to make is called an energy link, and you're going to want to make two of them. And I'll show you how to make one, but so you'll have to double all the recipes and equipment you need. Um, because this is how you're going to power your quarry. What you'll need is eight sticks, eight cobblestone, eight iron ingots, eight gold ingots, four redstone, one wooden transport pipe, one copper cable, and two mixed metal ingots. Now, if you don't know how to make some of those last three, I'll show you the recipe quickly here. The recipe for mixed metal ingots is, uh, how do I do it? Yeah, is that. It's uh, three refined iron, three bronze, and three tin on top of each other like that. Is that the same? And that makes two, and you only need two. If you don't know how to make copper cable, you really should. It's one of the first things you need. It's three copper, and then six rubber, basically. Very simple. And the wooden transport pipe is just a bit of glass with wood either side of it, and you only need one of them. Right, now. Crafting table. First thing you want to do is, is the same thing and uh, make a couple of wooden gears. Put these two and surround them by a cobblestone. You're doing the same thing here except you're upgrading them all to gold. Stone, surround that by the iron in the same way. Take the iron and put the gold around it. and you have them. The next thing you want to do is take one of your redstone 
and put it in the crafting table along with your wooden transport pipe. Oh no. Maybe no. I like that, okay, you want it on top of your wooden transport pipe. And so and you make a wooden conductive pipe, which is what you need for the recipe for an energy link. And you have almost everything you need, except now you need to sort out the mixed metal ingots. And for this, you'll need to go over to a compressor and put the metal in there and let it compress. Right, and then you should end up with two advanced alloys. Now you do have everything you need to make an energy link. And the recipe is as follows. Two advanced alloys in the top corners. Redstone right down the middle. You then have a wooden conductive pipe on the right. Copper cable on the left, like that. And the last two spaces filled with the gold gears. And voila, an energy link. As I say, you need two of them, ideally. Can work with just one. For speed, though, especially if you're planning on building a rather large quarry, you want two, at least. Right, afterwards, here's how you place them. You just stick a quarry down, and it will uh, have a frame out in front of it. You can change the position of that using landmarks. You want the energy link either side of it, and that hooked up to your wire underground leading straight from your power source. Ideally, obviously, um, you want glass fibre cable and that goes straight to your uh, bat box, MFSU, whatever your power source is. In my case here it comes out of my MFSU straight off and underground to keep it quite neat. And hooks up to the energy links, not, not to the quarry. So the energy links based either side of it and that will power the quarry. Also, you want piping, stone piping is fine, cobblestone piping, coming out of the top and going into your house or wherever, going into a chest. I'll just show you how my piping system works. Oh, if I can get the door. <laughs> right, yeah. Um, the pipes come in here. Everything travels along there. It's then sorted by this diamond pipe, which I've got to sort the junk out. So everything useful goes into that chest, and then all the rest of the stuff goes into this one. You can have an even more basic piping system or a more complex one. Um, it's up to you, really. And as you can see, uh, the power comes out of my MFSU and goes straight out to my quarry there. And so, yeah, that's the... Uh, the basics of quarrying really. Um, if you need any more help with this please let me know in the comments and please do tell me if there's anything else you need help with in Tech It. Thanks for watching!